Afternoon, Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Um, I want to give you guys an update on Tank. I did a video on him a little while back. Said I was going to put him out in the pasture for a bit and, uh, and then just restart over with him. So today we got him out and we just took him a bit on a ride and we had a whole different approach and we had different results. And so I just, I want to give you guys an update and also kind of a little bit of a learning deal on what we did. Now, to, and Mama will put a link to that other video in the description here if you want to go back and watch it and see what's going on. Uh, just a little bit of background. When we got Tank, um, they told us he was kind of lazy. All right. So, and when he came, the way he acted, I'm like, well, they told the truth. He's kind of lazy. Um, it turns out he's not physically lazy. All right. He's mentally and emotionally sour. And there's a big difference, all right? Lazy is a physical issue. Sour is a mental and emotional issue. Now, lazy is I just don't want to work. Sour is my life to this point has been extremely boring, extremely repetitive. Everybody's been bossing me around, making me do stuff I don't want to do. And, if, and I liken it to taking a small boy and putting him in front of a math book for eight hours a day. You're going to wind up with a child who hates math, hates math. And it's not the math that he hates. It's the way the math has been introduced to him. So we put him up for a little bit, let him kind of soak and reset and brought him out today. And so what we did was I told Connor, Connor, uh, my help here, Connor's going to ride him, kind of rode him. And I said, no spurs, take your spurs off. And uh, we're not going to make him do every, anything. We're going to go back to the very basics. The horse's instinct is he wants to be left alone. So we're just, when he stops, whatever it does, we're just going to patiently ask him until he gets tired of asking and he moves on. Now, I set him up. I did a video. The last video I did was setting your horse up to succeed. And I set him up to succeed from the very start. First thing I did was... He's kind of he's kind of fond of that little Palomino mare, Sweet Jane. So I rode her, and I put her in line first. And then I put him right behind her and put Connor on him. And the other thing I did was we took a totally different way out of here. Now, he knows the way we've been doing with the school. We go a certain way. We get to a certain point, and he's like, nope, I know what this is. You guys are gonna ride me down there. You're gonna put me in that round pen. I'm gonna be carrying some new student. I'm gonna go in circles and it's boring and I hate it. So right off the bat, we went out a totally different way. And he's like, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. And we got to a certain point up there and he stopped. He's like, nope. And his ears kind of came back. He's like, no, I don't think so. So I told Connor, I said, just with your calves, just give him some energy, just ask him to go. And after a little bit, he went a little bit and he stopped again. Now we were riding him in this Makate. So after a little bit, he was, he was starting to tense up. I could see it in him. He was starting to say, if you guys are gonna fight me, I'm gonna give you a fight. And we want to get him out of that mindset. So I came back and this is really probably unconventional, but I got this Makate and Connor stayed on here with the reins. And so I just rode off up and just kind of gave a little forward pressure. And while Connor was giving with his legs, and when he started moving and moved off, Connor released with his legs and I released with this. And once he started walking good, then I gave Connor this back and he followed around. Now we took a little bit shorter trail and we came back. And so now Connor, we're, I've taken, I got some other folks, we're fixing to go back out, but we're going to quit on a good note with him. He made that trail. There was no fight, there was no fuss. And uh, so Connor's gonna untack him, take the saddle off, brush him down really good, give him a little bit of grain. Now the grain is not a reward for him doing good. You've gotta understand these are prey animals, they're not predators, their instinct doesn't run that way. They're not like puppies. You can't give them a treat and they say, oh, I got a treat because I did good. But we're gonna give him a little grain because I want everything to end on a good note. It, he everything went around everything was good I wanted to end on a good note he's gonna get a little bit of grain he's gonna get brushed out and he's gonna get put back 
slow and easy and no fight. And that's the path we're going to take. That's what we're going to be doing with him. Not too much. Not too much, but we're just going to start doing that more and more and more with no fight. And see if we can't take him back to the beginning and say, listen, it doesn't have to be like this. Okay? And so just a little short video. I had got a lot of good feedback on Tank before. A lot of people were concerned about him and were really interested in what was going to happen with him. So I thought you guys might be interested, might want to know. Uh, we had the first ride out with him again today. And there were a couple times when he stopped, but we got him through it. He didn't kick out. He didn't squeal and hog and carry on. He just kind of said, okay. And we got around. It's the first time we've been able to get him out in quite a while. So I'm, I'm pretty confident, I'm pretty um, optimistic that we can give this horse a new lease on life. And, and folks, that's what the school here to me is about. Every person that I can train and help under their horsemanship, help them understand horsemanship a little better, is another horse that gets a better deal. And that's, my focus is not to make your ride better. My focus is to make his ride better, which will in turn make your ride better. But it starts with making his ride better, okay? So I just wanna, just wanna let you know that and, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.